Weird. What is weird? Weird is something that's considered different from the common norm. For a prime example, take a jock versus a goth. Uh, in general, people are going to find the goth more weird opposed to the jock. And that's only due to the fact that uh, jock is a more common accepted subculture. Now, weird isn't limited to just subcultures. It's about any little thing about someone or something. And we've always painted weird in a negative light or negative connotation. However, today I'd like to teach you that that doesn't have to be the case. A lot of people like to shop at Walmart, buy lots of things at Walmart. And there's also a good percentage of people who like to buy clothes from Walmart. And ironically, as I say that, I've been told before that buying clothes from Walmart was weird. Now, I'm sure branding has a lot to do with it, but let's focus precisely on that. Branding. What is branding? Branding is something that's trending. And what's trending? Trending is something that society develops into a common style. Now, high brands is what's trending right now, so there are a portion of people who like buying from high brands that think buying clothes from Walmart is weird. And that's fine. So, I want to teach you that thinking something is weird is okay, and being weird is just as equally okay. Now, I've bought in my fair share of clothes from Walmart before, but my weirdness goes much beyond that. And it probably starts with when I was younger. Uh, my family were military, so we move a lot, and we were once stationed for four years in Bavaria, Germany. And it's the yellow section on this graph, and we lived in a small town called Grafenbeer. Now, we lived there for four years, and I loved it. And one Christmas, I got this gift that I loved so much. Uh, I think I wore it just about everywhere, and I still have it in my closet to this day. And the gift that I loved so much is a panda hat. And I wore it everywhere, and that wasn't limited to anywhere. So one spring break, following that Christmas, we got to visit Italy, and we went to numerous places in Italy, such as Rome, Venice, Pisa, all of those wonderful, beautiful places. And of course, with my family and I came my panda hat. And it was very interesting and also very weird because we were walking in the streets of Italy with me and I'm small and I have this huge furry panda hat in the 100 degree weather full surroundedly by foreigners and whatnot. And it was weird to see. And I definitely got a lot of attention from it. Now, in general, you'd think the attention I would receive from this would be negative or people wouldn't enjoy it. And maybe people did not enjoy it and maybe some people muttered under their breath, but it was nothing that I had noticed. Instead, the attention that I had received, it was amusing and it was fun. And the interactions that I got to have with people were interesting. And for example, I, my family and I, we were waiting for a train and we decided to grab some food before our train arrived. And we went to a hot dog stand we were the next people in line and the guy from the crash register looked up and uh, he sees my hat and he just goes panda in his cute little Italian accent. And it was the funnest thing I think I've ever heard. And another instance was where a guy stopped us on the street and put up his camera and said the word panda. And uh, I allowed him to take a picture of my hat. And uh, a lot of the reactions that I got were really funny or amusing or interesting. And what I really thought was absolutely the most interesting about it was the fact that these were people I would have never uh, gotten the chance to interact with if it wasn't for the fact that I was wearing my panda hat, which was weird, uh, I'll admit, but you know, that was okay. I was being weird and it was fun. And other people thought it was weird and that was also okay. And they also thought it was fun. So that came, that came to me as a realization that being weird is okay and it can also be fun. And a bigger scale than my own personal story would be the idea of Comic-Con. And if you don't know what Comic-Con is, it's this. It's where a lot of people get together and they entertain each other and discuss and have fun celebrating pop culture. 
And in general, on the streets, you're not gonna see someone dressed as a Captain America, but you go to one of these and you'll see at least 50 of them. And um, it's weird, you know, a lot of people dress up, they get to meet people in these movies, films, comics, etc. And it's just, I mean, a lot of people get to have fun doing this. Although that they're doing weird things, it's a lot of fun. And the biggest Comic Con would be San Diego. And it's been going around since about the late 1900s until now. And it's been grossing many of people each year and more as it goes. And from the 1990, um, that started with 13,000 people all the way up until 2014 where it's grossed more than 150,000 people and it continues to grow and grow each year. And when I think of it that way, I think, you know, people get together to do something weird and how amazing it is that they all go and they get to have fun and interact with tons of people. And these aren't just people in this general area. There are Comic Cons all around America and people all around America also come to interact with other people at these Comic Cons. And so you just have to sit back and realize that being weird is okay. Actually, it's more than okay. It's a lot of fun. And to see things as weird is also okay. Which brings me to what I want you to take away from my topic is that weird is something in all of us and everything that we see and weirdness isn't limited to anything and it's also fine to see something as weird because you're going to every day and it's also fine to be weird and the best part about that is the fact that being weird can be fun and that being weird is something that you can embrace and I want to encourage you to have fun with the things that are weird, that are different from you, and to also encourage you to be weird yourself.